Hey guys, it's F9, aka Yashain, and I'm back with another video. This is for my Divine Feminine Librans. Um, just a weekly message that I want to come through with for you guys. Today is April 30th already. We're already into May. It's crazy how the years just flying by. I got Drake playing in the background. That's the mood that I got hip to for us. So, we're gonna jump right into it. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I do cute, I try to keep it short. I do curse, I am me. I listen to spirit, I use crystals, numbers, colors, and cards to guide me, along with the readings. So I guess this would be from like April 30th to, I'm hearing May 5th. I'm sensing that some of you guys could have been feeling lonely, like maybe you don't really have people that are on your wavelength as of lately. Maybe some of you guys have been going through a lot, kind of just been to yourself in that hermit energy. I visualize the hermit card in my head. But it's only for the best. Well, I'm pulling out three cards to start. If I'm guided to pull more than three, then I will. Yeah. Let's get it. Mm. Yeah, you guys could have been dealing with fake people, but this week you guys are going to be looked at as the Queen of Wands. Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, this is Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a fire sign is what I heard. Sorry, Queen of Cups. So you guys could be this week portraying the energies of the Queen of Cups. That's water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. You guys could be very balanced when it comes to your emotions, understanding the emotions of others, have, being very compassionate. Maybe you guys realize that you guys kind of like had your heart on your sleeve uh, when it comes to other people. And maybe you guys are learning how to balance your emotions and how you feel when it comes to other people and their ordeals because you realize that when you give too much, you don't give that equal amount back. So you guys realize that in order to balance the people around you, you have to balance yourself first. And people are looking at you as the one with the light. People are looking at you as the one with guidance. Um, don't be surprised this week if a lot of people will want your attention or want to be around you or just want to be seen with you. Um, so I guess as far as like fake people being around, be very wary of fake people as well. They'll be probably trying to like pick your brain because you are this kind hearted, loyal, loving, mysterious individual that just seems in depth with their intuition and all knowing and all power. Um, this week, a lot of you guys can be seeing things come to the forefront that you guys didn't notice before. A lot of you guys might have been in a dark place, but you're finally going to be... Sorry, my dog is walked past. You guys could be seeing the light. You guys could be seeing the light this week. Um, taking on the wisdoms of things that you... Go, like, pretty much a lot of you guys may be tapping into powers that were once untapped before. Um, a lot of you guys will be meditating a lot, eating healthier um grounding yourself in the best way that you can a lot of you guys will also be wanting to go the distance we have go the distance here card represented by the number 47 um as far as foundation and stability you guys are going to do whatever you can to pretty much like secure your bag um be very in tune with what steps you got to take in order to move forward so like if you guys have been like on the job hunt looking for like a new job so if you guys have been looking for like a new job then um you guys are going to do everything that you can to get that job get a position um just finish whatever projects it is that you have you maybe have been procrastinating on i'm feeling but you guys are willing to like get to the finish line um this week with whatever project ideas job um searches um if this is love 
um, you guys want to get to the bottom of fixing whatever issues it is they have with like a loved one. It could be a lover, a friend, a family member. I'm also saying that some of you guys may randomly pick up and go on a trip as well. Go the distance usually means travel. Maybe you guys are running a marathon. Maybe you guys are traveling across the country, across the world, or preparing yourself to travel, like getting a passport. And pretty much just like step into a vibration that you haven't stepped into in a long time. This is motivation, this is passion, this is drive. I'm seeing air energy, I'm seeing um, earth energy, and I'm seeing a little fire energy as well. So we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, also with seven that I'm seeing, you guys can also be having a lot of downloads. So a lot of you guys can be getting in tune and listening and hearing out your spirit guides, seeing messages about steps that you should be taking, about moves that you should be making, and pretty much getting the go, the green light on um, getting into that frequency of what you wanted to get into. So for my goddess oracle deck, we got Nematona. She represents sacred space. She's pretty much like the goddess that stays to herself. Like remember I was saying that I seen like the hermit card in my head visualized it. Um, this is pretty much you getting into your own sacred space, your own peaceful place, whether it's in nature, whether it's by a waterfall. I'm seeing some of you going to like a waterfall, a creek, um, a river, a lake this weekend. Um, but a lot of you guys are going to be connecting to your ancestors, to God, to spirit. Her message to us is create an altar or visit a powerful place to connect with the divine. So a lot of you guys will be focusing on your um, throat chakras, your uh, third eye chakra, and your crown chakra, the higher up chakras to connect. Um, I'm hearing that a lot of you guys, with the push that you're getting and the message you're getting from spirit, you guys will be protected nonetheless like you guys are seeing the light here you see how she's like flowing towards the light it's like you guys are realizing that you're being called to step into another spiritual another realm of consciousness and you guys will be surrounded by ancestors and guides that are going to be helping you and they're there you can't see them but you can definitely feel them you're going to be feeling like a hundred times the power this week to get in tune with yourself you guys probably are going to be flexing your powers more than ever this week um and that's pretty dope um a very powerful week i see ahead um i'm looking at my crystals the future crystals that i see is my pyrite crystal which represents wealth um abundance prosperity protection worth confidence stride and I see my Lipidolite, which represents the uh, third and crown chakra. It's a Libran crystal. Um, it's pretty much the crystal you use to connect to spirit, um, to connect to spirit, to get instant downloads, if you wish. Um, it also protects you from people that are fake and want to psychically attack you. Um, and I was also looking at my Aventurine crystal. Aventurine is just like internal happiness, eternal peace. Um, getting the things that you, that you want to pretty much roll out and wish fulfillment, um, fortune, strength, happiness, if I didn't say happiness already, pretty much flexes the heart and the throat chakras, opens your heart to new opportunities, um, helps you have more clarity about what it is that you want, it um, helps you communicate to others greatly, and it also helps you um, realize your worth. So. If you guys have those crystals, I definitely encourage you to carry those out. Those are the ones that have stuck out to me the most. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all I'm going to get into today, guys, for the week of April 30th to May 5th. Um, I'll probably drop out more videos um, just as I go whenever I feel guided to. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in so much and supporting me. Um, if you guys want a personal reading, feel free to email me in the, in, in the description box below. Please comment, like, and share this video, um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I have a Facebook page. If you guys want to join, it's called F9's Tarot and Spirituality Group. Um, it's a private group, so you guys will have to request and answer like one question as to why you want to join. Um, as soon as I start to get as many followers as I want, I'll start dropping dailies and a lot of other incentives for my members. So. Thanks guys so much for your support and until next time, take care.